Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bears Off Grid Ways. And here we are. I picked up a trailer load of um, potting soil from the, my neighbor who is buying a piece of land that used to be a grower's land, and uh, all this soil was left behind in all the pots. And as I showed you once before, I got a bunch of the pots here. And since I don't have the money to build the um, raised beds, I'll be planting in pots this year in here. I've got to get this closed in somehow to keep the critters out and the birds out so they don't destroy my plants. So, I also found a piece of uh, shade cloth right there laying over there, which should be enough to cover this wall at least, if not more. And that would be a good thing because the wire from that wall of the old um, grow house is going to come over to this wall and take care of that. So the uh, big shade cloth right here, I'm thinking about getting this one over the top of the roof. And in order to do that, dragging it across wood ain't going to work because it's going to snag every um, couple of inches. So I grabbed this big piece of pipe that was there. And I'm going to roll that um, shade cloth up on the pipe. And then I'll make two two by fours with holes through them that can slip over the ends of the pipe. So, um, well, actually, I think I'll use two by twos. And uh, one guy on this side and one guy on that side can lift up that big long pipe and then just unroll the uh, shade cloth as we walk along one over there on that side and one on this side just walk along and uh, unroll it right over the top of everything because I'm going to go right over the top of the greenhouse too because as you see the panels keep blowing out and uh, they're all getting uh, brittle from the sun so I'm going to be losing a lot of those pretty soon and I'll have to come up with an idea on how to seal that off but then uh this this doesn't belong here i just put it here temporarily to keep um dogs out of uh going in there and chewing up on my pots and stuff but uh i need one more piece of corrugated metal to, to go across the bottom here and i can seal that off and then these will actually go on the inside there um, when i'm ready to put in the uh raised beds and I will be taking out a couple of panels on the, the greenhouse so that uh, I can walk from the greenhouse out to here and it'll all be one location. So, with that being said, as you can see, I've got uh, about three cubic yards of soil here. And uh, it's, a, it's pretty good, but I'm sure all the nutrients are out of it. So I'll just use this as filler and mix in with uh, other um, other soil. Uh, comes with rocks too. So anyway, um, I always had a problem with on the dirt roads of the sides bouncing out of the holder. So I had a bunch of these springs laying around, and I rigged up the springs so I could hook them down, and it keeps the uh, the sides from bouncing out when I'm driving on the roads. Pretty cool. All right. So I had a question today. A new subscriber who's um, going to be setting up some solar. He wants to know about some solar information. So he says, what, what type of panels do you have? Well, the thing you want to go for are um, not so much the, the brand of of panels because you let you'll never find the same brand from state to state and city to city there's always somebody new out there with something new now these panels what you want to do is you want to get the most powerful panels with to take up the least amount of space so that you have a lot of extra power 
it's always better to have extra power than not enough. Okay, now these are all 100 watt solar panels, but they're not um, from Harbor Freight. Uh, these are from all different companies that I uh, started buying them online before I uh, moved out, probably two years before I moved out here. But uh, they were mostly for experimentation purposes. And uh, those are the 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panel kits. But uh, you don't want to go that way. Those are great for extra supplements. And I did all this experimentation, so I'll save you guys the expense of having to do it yourself. So what you want is, these are 305 watt panels, okay? That's good, 250 to 350, 375 watt panels is probably the way you would like to go, all right? And uh, if, you can find those online, and if you have any um, background for uh, electricity at all, if you know anything, even a little bit about electricity, you can buy used solar panels, and some of the used solar panels won't be putting out any energy. And you say, oh, I, it's no good. I got to throw it away. I wasted the money. No, it's a very simple repair. It's just a, a, most likely the diode uh, or, or two burnt out in it. And you can replace the diodes very easily if you know how to do a little bit of soldering. So that's one way to go. If not, then you have to uh, search around online for your area and see what you can find for uh, inexpensive solar panels in your area but I would I would recommend you go with something like um, two, 250 to 350 watt solar panels each so that the you, you have plenty of power batteries and controllers are a whole another issue now oh, these dogs are gonna try to kill me now my favorite controller is the Midnight Classic and my favorite um, and that's the Midnight Classic 150. Now remember they also make the Midnights in in the SLs which are the lights. You don't want to go that way. Um, you want something a little bit more powerful. So I have, I'm going to have him send me a list of what he's going to um, hope to be powering uh, with his solar so that I can help them put together a system. Now, nowadays they've got the all-in-ones and Sun Gold Power has a complete kit. comes with the solar panels, the all-in-one um, inverter, um, controllers, all of that, all built into a, a single kit. And if you figure the price of what you're going to buy and pay independently for every individual piece and the wiring and the connectors and all of that, the cost that uh, Sun Gold Power uh, charges for the complete kit is a better way to go. All right, that's enough, guys. That's enough. Hey, hey, knock it off. I don't know what you guys are fighting over. Hey, <laughs> sorry, people. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Break it up. There's something in there that one of them wants and the other one was trying to get it too. So anyway, um, I'll, if you want that information on that kit, I'll uh, be glad to uh, post a link for it in the next video. I'm not going to do it in this video because I'm going to have a lot to cover and we're already going co towards 10 minutes on this video. I try to keep them down to in the 8 minute, 9 minute range. So, um, Yeah, I like the Midnight Classics for small systems and the Ames, um, Ames Power split phase inverters for another one. Now the other thing is I'm running a 12 volt system here and I'm going to be upgrading because I'm at my 10 year mark now, which is the end of warranty on most of this stuff. So I'm going to be upgrading my system, but when I do upgrade my system, I'm going to be going to 48 volts. And there's a, a reason for that. 48 volts is uh, more efficient. Uh, 
You guys are going to get me angry. Now stop it. Let's get out of here. Come on. They get, they get their food in them and they get all energized. And, uh, and then, and then they, hear, they just go nuts. Ooh, dust. The winds are blowing. They're getting near 30 miles an hour. I'm going to call this a day and head on inside. So, Eugene, uh, if you want to know more about uh, setting up your solar, give me some more information on what you plan on running, what kind of uh, deal you're going to be doing. Are you going to be moving off grid? You're going to be building a cabin. You have a cabin. Um, if you're if you're on grid and you're looking for a supplemental uh, solar system, I do not do on grid systems. Okay, there's a reason for that, and I'm not going to go into that. But for off grid systems, I'll be glad to help. This is G Bear signing off.